Hey guys, welcome to another reading. Welcome back if you're new or returning. We're going to take a look here and see what's going on with your person, the person that's on your mind. We're going to take a look here and see how they think and feel about you at this time. We're just going to jump right into it. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Libra, a Leo, a Taurus. Okay, so... For those that have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising placements, what do you need to know about your person right now? Okay. You have a crush on someone. You have more than a crush on someone. You may be infatuated with somebody, but you feel like it's really one-sided. You're not sure if it's one-sided. Sometimes you don't think it's one-sided. So it's kind of messing with your emotions. You feel like you intuitively know what's going on and you intuitively feel like you know this person has very strong feelings for you, but you have the five of pentacles here. It's like they're not verbalizing it, okay? But their options or how they express themselves or when they're with you, the whole body language, the energy is just different. But when they're not there or when you guys are apart, you feel the five of pentacles. It's like rejection, abandonment. It's like, what happened, you know? Like, hello, did you forget about me? And so it makes you wonder here. I don't know who it is I'm speaking to. Because you have it. yeah, see, right now you have the betrayal clarity. That's what I'm getting. I don't know, you guys, okay? So some of you could be feeling right now like, yeah, I've been betrayed. If that's you, then ignore this reading, click off, okay? If this person hurt you, you know it. Um, yeah. Bye, I'll see you later. I'm sorry. But this is for those specific scorpions who are like, I don't know. You know, yeah, something with the communications. I can't, I don't know, guys, I can't. I'm just going to go with what the cards are telling me. And then here we have devil. Yeah. And then we have that card again. Okay. So I'm going to just tell you guys what I'm feeling right now. Um, it's like I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? See? I don't know. This There's this energy that was just all up in my face. What was I saying, you guys? Betrayal, Ace of Swords, like I was really tapped into someone's mess. Okay, okay, it's coming back. If you felt like, uh, yeah, like when you're with this person, like you intuitively feel like this person has love for you. Like they, like this is your divine masculine, this is your divine feminine, this is your soulmate, this is your twin flame. There's something here going on between the two of you. Like you just, you know how they feel, but they're just not expressing it and not verbalizing it. But when they leave, it's like communication dead zone. You know, like you just don't get any calls, texts, or maybe not that much. They're not, you're just like, What's going on here? Um, was I being played? You know, was, was I dealing with a player? Was I dealing with an F boy, F girl? Um, or does this person really have like communication <laughs> um, problems or issues? Maybe this person isn't a big texter. Some people really do not like texting. Some people really do get busy. Um, some people do not like to stay glued to their phone. But I also know, like, if someone really, really genuinely cares, they will text, right? But then I don't get, like, for you guys in this reading, like, this person, you feel like when, I don't know, there's something about this person makes you feel weird. It makes you feel like, 
you just want to drop them. You just want to let them go. This person may travel a lot. Let's just get into your reading, you guys. See, I need to just say it whenever it comes to me. Okay. Let's see here. How does this person actually think and feel about you? You could be dealing with the Taurus or Gemini. Um, or an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. Yeah. We have the lovers here and the magician. Okay, you see how these two people were brought together by the universe? Like there's this like rope around you. Like there's some kind of red string of fate kind of thing going on here between the two of you. This person feels it. The universe kind of guided you to, to each other for a reason. There's something very spiritual about this connection. It's pretty intense, you guys. They have the lovers here with magician. There could be a third party situation at the time. Okay, so Scorpio, yeah, this, uh, okay. This person's married for some of you. Maybe some of you guys already know that, or you're married. Both of you guys are married, I don't know. Um, or they're, if they're not married, they have a girlfriend or boyfriend, or they live with somebody, or you do. That's kind of why they can't say much whenever they leave. They're determined to leave this person or to get a divorce. Okay. Because they feel like you're their person. They have the Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands to the Hierophant. That's like, I don't even know why I'm with this person. It feels like death every time I go home, you know? Or... I just feel like we're roommates. We're not even partners, okay? But my person won't divorce me. I begged, I pleaded, I'm doing everything I can so that this person will let me go. Or, you know, but there's somebody here I'm kind of getting that just will not break up with them, will not let them break up with them. Wow, how toxic is that? But um, I'm kind of getting here. They just feel stuck and bound. It could be an ex, and it could be dealing with some stuff right now, Scorpio. But your person feels like you're the one, okay? You're the one. Okay, they have... They want your forgiveness. The wish... You have the King of Swords here. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me about this King of Swords towards the Hierophant. See, justice with the chariot. Justice, all you guys know, justice is, you know, going to court, getting a divorce. And here we have chariot. They want to move forward. They want to move forward, but they feel stuck. They also feel like they have to take care of some things before they come towards you. But they do feel like you're their person. Could be dealing with a Libra, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Pisces, and they have the Five of Cups. Sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret with the Seven of Cups and choices here. All right, so Scorpio, your message here is clear. You're the one that they want. They're stuck in a third-party situation right now or a complicated situation involving another or they think you are. So I'm kind of getting here. That's why you guys aren't able to move forward. But it's in this person's, yeah, you guys have freak signs so far. I'm reading for is getting the card of don't give up on this connection if you feel like this is your person. This is my soulmate twin flame reconciliation card. You could manifest here with that three of swords, okay? Three people in this situation. You can manifest um this third party situation to leave oh 
like I had to see the two of cups, two of cups. Yeah, this is, this is a really loving, this person genuinely loves you, cares about you. They have a lot going on in their life right now. You can also use a law of assumption, law of attraction. If you want more communications, you can, or if you want to make the third party situation leave, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to tell you guys, you have to come from a place of love because this will backfire on you. This is a third party situation. I do respect, you know, marriages and um, commitments, but I also understand when someone wants to leave a connection like how they want to leave their connection here to be with you um and someone here is just holding maybe children or business finances over their head i could see how that is a form of manipulation that someone really needs to get out of because i'm seeing here they feel stuck and they want to leave it with that chariot injustice and the Six of Swords. Um, you can manifest um, this thing to move forward. Just know that this is happening for a reason, okay? I'm kind of getting here for a, a specific Scorpio that I'm talking to. It's like, I just want this third party situation to be gone. Hey, so does Bella apparently. Yeah, this is an for a married man, but I'm kind of also getting this is your divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, you guys use the law of assumption, law of attraction. If you guys need help with that, I can show you guys my methods. We can get on the phone and chat and tell you guys um, how to... How to um, wish it away. Not wish it away, but affirm it on. But where, you know, all parties involved find the love of their life, you know? Where she or he that's dealing with your person, Bella, you're making me nervous with this candle here, will end up finding their love of their life. Because obviously they're not a match, okay? Watch your tail. For you and someone, maybe not a match. This person's determined. Yeah, I can't stop getting this today. What is up with my readings here? This is a very faded connection. You two are meant to be together, supposed to be together. This person is determined. They're really sad right now. Sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret. Um, yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there's a lot of hurt and pain, angst, anxiety, sadness, sorrow. Here, it's like, okay, get a reading. I prefer to do law assumption, law of attraction readings over the phone, and I do have phone sessions right now available. Scorpio, I only have 10 slots open from now until the end of the month. Take advantage of it. If you guys want to talk, let's talk. I'll call you. But um, we can also do the video recordings if you guys want. But I'll tell you guys how you can manifest this. You just don't, you can't give up. You can't give up. You can't just say, you know what, it's never going to happen because then you have to persist. And you have to believe with unwavering faith that this person is coming towards you and that this whole situation will be resolved. It is. It has to because you've already affirmed it because you already wished it. You already saw it. So you imagined it. So the universe will comply. But then if you're like confused and you're like, I don't know what I want. I want to give up on this person. The universe is like, okay, never mind. Not bring this person to you anymore. In fact, you know, this person that your third party is going to have stronger reasons to be with this other person. But they're really confused right now. Stay inspired and positive about your future. You know that this is the right person. The right person will wait until you're ready. Um, maybe, you know, that's what your person is hoping that you'll do. 
Someone here needs to see the situation another way. Someone here needs to release themselves from self-inflicted binds. And someone needs to stay grounded and look, and look for peace. Okay, I hope that helped. 1515 15, as I said that. It's something to do with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Thank you, Scorpio. I hope this video helped. This reading was <laughs> very specific, I think. Um, I had a lot of fun, you guys. See you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, thank you for your time. I'll see you later. Bye.